What's good? Welcome back to another amazing YouTube video. This this video is going to be a, a, a good one. I, I can already tell. Today, I kind of wanted to go over mainly, ma mainly how to really get into more of an in-depth guide on how to like play this game properly. But this, instead of going over like the fighting basics like I did in a while back, like a couple couple months ago, uh, I'm gonna go over like on a single topic on this topic today. It was going to be my favorite race in uh, Xenoverse and in this game, and it's my most played one. Unstable or Martians. Um, how to counter a unstable is, which is the main part about the Martians. Really, overall Martians before proceeds to aren't the biggest that it basically sands in the end to be honest with you see Majins when they have metal Majin they have a lot of defense now back in the old days Majins were considered the worst race because of their terrible key max and their low damage and powerful forms um, since they had no power to them no one ever played them so you never really saw them kind of around at all so people would shit on these people and would just not have to play them and I was one of those people that were like, you know what, since it, I, I, at the time I didn't know it wasn't a good race, but I decided to play it anyways, because uh, I like Majin's. That Majin Buu is a cool character, he's my favorite one. And for a good couple months I was playing the game, and it, I finally got to level 350, and I got Metal Majin. And Metal Majin was a blast, because not only did it open up an opportunity for me to take down players that I can never take down before, it also... Like, showed me, hey, this race isn't as bad as you think it is. Because, yes, in the lower stages of Majin's, our race is not very good. It is a fairly bad race, consider, uh, all things considered. It is not easy. It is not a beginner race. If you are up for the challenge and you think you can build the character correctly, then go right ahead. Be my guest. Because this character can be one of the most deadly and one of the most powerful things you can have in your arsenal. I do apologize for any background noise you guys can hear. But anyways, so a metal, a metal Majin has a low amount of key, similar to that of the third, um, around the second, in the middle between second form uh, uh, of Majin to third form. So, it has about this much key max. You know, oh wait, this isn't my build, oh no. Since, since most builds nowadays are key, which is the meta currently, which is epic. So yeah, that's about its that, that's its key max kind of like multiplier. My key max is 1,000, so of course it's gonna be like a pretty big multiplier. Here's my stats. If you want to know how to build a margin, I will. That's kind of like a separate thing. But anyways, what you would want to do if they're a lower level and you th know you can take them on and you are actually surprised about their skill and they're outskilling you, I recommend you waste their key. Um, so that means to play defense. So hold block and simply dodge them. Now, I'm not saying run away like a cow, but if you, if you can uh, play the neutral game long enough to where you can, you know, have them mess up, then punish. Go ahead and punish them. Like, don't let them get away with it. Like, if they can keep doing something, even if it, even if they mess up, punish them for it. So, simply, if you see them keep using a final blow despite you blocking, the next final blow they do, block it, combo it. Simple. Really basic and pretty easy. And, yeah, not much to that. Uh, Dark Majin is the same exact way. Um, its key max is a bit better, and it has like almost next to no key drain, so therefore making it an extremely good form, making it better than um, Metal Majin for power, but not for defense. The defense of Metal Majin is higher than Dark, but Dark has, I think, about an equal or if not better key max. And like I said, if you are having trouble against them, uh, I recommend you play defense, and then play a neutral game, and then punish them for what they do wrong. Um. And then here comes the hardest one. Out of all three of them, it's going to be unstable. Now, an unstable player has the advantage. No matter what way you look at it, we have the advantage. Once you see someone go into unstable, be ready for a hell of a fight. Doesn't matter what level you are. Because this, I have hit priority no matter what I do. Which makes me a threat. Here, I'll show an example on this guy. Oh, and actually, no, there's a, there's, I'll go to the snakes because this guy can, might be annoying. Yeah, I'm not a damage build, sorry. Here's my stats at Unstable, just in case anyone's wondering at all. So, so for example, these snakes. If you guys know how UI works, then this is how what UI is. UI works, or Unstable works just like a UI does. You get teleportation punches. You see, I'm pretty good distance away. 
Bam, I teleport right to them and punch them. And this does work on players. This will full on work no matter what way you look at it. You can kill these guys without even thinking about it or you know, anything like that. And yes, th as you can see here, it also works on NPCs. So unstable is already a pretty powerful thing to have, but if you couldn't tell, my key is draining fairly fast, and I have 1,000 key max. That's his main weakness. Now, if you fight an unstable, do not rush in, because you will get your ass whooped, because they have the hit priority. If you get knocked away, like, um, if you get knocked away, like, as if you were to be right-click punched, like, oh, like, like so, um, the Majin, if they get right-click punched, uh, they can punch the air and teleport straight to you with no, uh, drawback, so they can actually get right back to you no matter what. So, they have the hit priority, meaning that makes them a lot more lethal and a lot more unpredictable. So, it's not like you're fighting a base form player where they don't have UI, like, look at that glitch. Um, where they don't have the UI thing and, you know, you just kind of walk, you have to walk up dead on top of somebody to punch them. Unstables don't have to do that, which is, again, like I said, the main focus, which makes them so dangerous. And now, not all the unstable players you meet will be good at the game. They'll have terrible key management, or they will they might have built built their character wrong, meaning that they'll have low key max, meaning that they'll, the first couple moves they use against you, they're already out, and they have to use their regen. This is the regen, by the way. So they can get back their health and half of their key and then go back into unstable because they messed up. So yes, if you want to, you can play super defensive against a dark, uh, unstable. You could win the fight like that. Or if you're trying to actually combat them and fight them in a fight, I really don't recommend using meta because the meta moves are actually extremely, extremely hard to hit because of the advantage that UI has. Even I, a, a UI player, lose other UI players or unstable players. So, because, uh, as you can see here, I vanish when I run when I'm in unstable. <laughs> Making it hard to pin down almost anybody with unstable. Yes, I know you can still see them, and it's not that hard, because you can just press key sense, and then, you know, you can see them. So, <laughs> I really don't recommend using meta, because you won't be able to hit it. So, like, simply, like, murder grenade, um, meteor crash, or anger rush or super death beam because that won't get you very far because the player can punish you because you have no idea where they went so for for unstable players they can just kind of come up behind you hit you and then right click you like bap 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 and then bap it's a pretty good combo i do it all the time and that's just the old one too if they were to do a normal combo like an actual combo on you you would you would take a lot of damage because of your own fault instead of simply waiting it out you can wait them out it's not hard because like, only one other race has this bad of key max. And that's humans. Humans have terrible key max. Like, holy jeebus. Or ter terrible key drain, too. So, like, I have some really good key max. That's, I would honestly, it's, it's on par with my third form, but my um, key drain is a lot worse. Like, it drains a lot of key, and this means that I have to play aggressive. Um, or I could play passive, because passive is usually what I go for. Now, that's the main focus. Most people, they like to run up into your face, use murder grenade, or use the meta moves, or whatever the hell they have. You really can't do that. Even if you wanted to play aggressive, like I said, you sh like you could, you really can't. Because they can counter you, they, can, they have that hit priority, they have that against you, and you can't do much about it. If that's, of course, me including that you're not a Majin player, and therefore you do not have unstable. So I really recommend you wait for them to come to you, or you, you wait for them to mess up and then counter them simply. Because if you play aggressive, you are going to get yourself whooped, and you don't want that. Each player has their strengths and their weaknesses. Now, find now the best way to do it is when you're playing passive is to focus on what they're doing. Now, if you can focus and pin down their combos, or you can pin down what they're doing or what their strat is, you can really hurt them. Like, you can see, like, I don't know, say they use two uh, Super Rushes, right? And then they use a Final Blow. And you know they're going to keep doing that. So they use Super Rush, Super Rush, Final Blow, Super Rush, Super Rush, Final Blow. So you can counter that Final Blow. And like I said, just like the um, <coughs> the um, Metal Majin or the Dark Majin, you can just block and then counter according to plan. But if you know you can't take the hits and you can't, like, risk getting hit, I recommend playing defensive and just kind of waiting 
if you can dodge their moves, and yes, I am saying, yeah, run, basically, because it's hard to counter them. If you're confident in your skills of beating them, go, go ahead and be confident. It's not my job to tell you if you're bad at the game. It's my job to tell you, hey, can you counter this? Playing against the um, uh, Majin race is kind of a pickle because everyone thinks that they're bad, but you don't. You like you need to understand that a player like me, on the other hand, who has built their, the Majin correctly and is doing the race some justice, isn't that bad because I have 1,400 defense, making me on par with most level 1,000s. So I'm basically stronger than them. And making me practically one of the, you know, a bigger heavy threat in this game. Now, of course, I wouldn't say the Majins are better than Jaren's or Jaren's are better than Majins because I, I, people really don't give it enough credit because Majins are really good. People just don't know how to play them. There is no bad race in this game. It's only players that are bad at the game. Because, you know, a top tier Majin player knows what they're doing. And that... Yeah, I'm saying that I'm pretty sure I'm I'm around top tier. I'm not the best player in the game, but I'm I'm okay. I'm like I got to rank 131 with like not even trying. That's pretty much how good unstable is because you know if you know how to abuse UI, then this character can really, really, really deal some damage. But I I've fought in a lot of UI players. They're in <sighs> unstable players. They're not very good. They're all pretty bad. Because they don't know how to use unstable properly. They just kind of spam all willy nilly and they, you know, they just kind of go in and just expect to win the fight when they have no plan. And maybe that's the case. Maybe you will win. Because, look, uh, uh, Maja players are hated and they really are because no one wants to fight an unstable. Everyone hates it, dude. And I keep getting this question no, unstable does not have auto dodge. It was removed like four months ago. So, please, for the love of God, if you're questioning it, no, there is no more auto dodge. It's gone. It was removed a while ago. We no longer have it. But we still have the UI punch. So, it still acts like UI. Uh, I'm sorry if this video is laggy, just like the uh, other one was, because whatever. I mean, there's no gameplay going on. It's just, you know, me talking. People, people like. They get overconfident in this game, and that's a big problem. You should not get overconfident. If you get overconfident, it's going to hurt you in the long run, because you're going to think that you're the best thing ever to happen to this game since Child Uno, or something like that. And they're really not. Like, you're not the best player since Child Uno, because Child Uno is one of the best players in the game, and I know that for a fact. He's a really good fighter, and hey, he deserved it. He deserves what his title, because, you know, he's played this game long enough to know. And I respect him for that. But understand that unstable is not something to really be scared of, but it's definitely something to worry about. If you go up against one and you he's stronger than you, I advise either A, you play really defensive, or B, don't fight him at all. Because, I mean, come on, you're going to get annoyed and uh, just frustrated. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be doing the Jaren race next because everyone loves... You know, everyone loves meta, and I'm sorry if this video is kind of short and not really full of content. It's just really the basic way to counter them. Now, some people who are probably going to watch this are going to be like, Oh, yeah, I already knew that, I already knew that, I already knew that. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't care. Keep keep it to yourself. Um, But if, if, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Bye.